People in Vista still being kept from their homes tonight, hours after a shooting involving sheriff's deputies. That's right, they opened fire on a wanted gang member who led them on a chase. And our tenders reporter Candace Crone has been on the scene all day. And Candace, you learned the, some very interesting information about this man's past. Yes, Steve, it's been nearly seven hours and this Vista neighborhood is still taped off. As you can see, these poor folks over here just waiting to get inside their homes. They've been sitting out here for quite some time since they got off work. Now, the shooting happened down this gated neighborhood. It was secure, but earlier today, quite the opposite. <laughs> Flashing lights and blaring sirens, an obvious sign of a chaos in this normally quiet Vista neighborhood. Deputies say a wanted gang member refused to pull over and led them on a chase. The fact that someone had to run from the police and endanger everybody else's lives, you know, and, may, and everybody, nobody can get out of their home, they can't go to work, they can't go see their family, you know, um, and nobody can get into their home. And now you're not going to feel that safe. The chase ended when the driver crashed into a berm in this gated community. The suspect tried to run away, and when deputies caught up to him, they got into a scuffle. That's when two sheriff deputies opened fire, injuring the suspect. Stranded neighbors were not only frustrated, but scared. We weren't sure if we should like go outside or stay inside um, when it first was happening, especially when more and more cop cars came. And so yeah, it was a little concerning, <laughs> definitely. Just kind of, you know, shaking, can't believe this is happening. You always see it on the news, but it's always somebody else. Deputies say they found knives on the man and ammunition. Investigators told 10 News last year the same suspect was involved in a SWAT standoff. A woman riding with the suspect was taken in for questioning. Authorities say the two deputies involved were not wearing body cameras because they hadn't been issued one. They were not hurt. And just within the last few minutes, these neighbors did receive a bit of good news that they will be escorted into their homes one by one as soon as more deputies arrive. That suspect shot is listed in critical condition tonight. We're live in Vista, Candace Crone, 10 News.